Hi there! Today I'm going to talk about a huge debate that has been discussed widely throughout the whole Blender community and throughout a whole wide range of Blender users and a whole lot of um, different communities like uh, Blender Guru or something like or some communities like that. And it doesn't seem like a little too much of a big deal, but for some reason it is. And that is right mouse button selection in Blender and why it should be used. Um, now there has been a lot of good and bad debates on why it should be used and why it should not be used. So, but I'm on the side on uh, why it should be used through uh, uh, through Blender because I've been using right mouse button select um, in Blender for a very 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 long time, and I never actually got into the point where I basically needed to select with left mouse button select at all. So I'm in this video. I'm going to explain why it's important to have right mouse button select in Blender and some of the benefits to actually um, have right mouse button for selection and left mouse button for actions. And um, um, there's one, per however, there's one person that uh, I really should give credit to, and that is uh, Sebesta Koenig, who actually. Um, Gave out a whole lot of information about why um, right mouse button select is very important in Blender. Sorry, Sebastian, if I uh, pronounced your name wrong. My German is not that good. But anyway, he provided a whole lot of information that's really, really important. And it's really, really informational about why, mouse, why right mouse button select in Blender is really, really useful. And I took... And so I'm basically going to show you that information and I'm also going to provide you with some even more information about how important right mouse button selection should be in Blender. Okay, so right mouse button select in Blender. First let's talk about uh, the reasons uh, why it's not really a good idea about uh, to some people why right mouse button select isn't really a good idea f for using selections. The only the reason why uh, well pretty much uh, the basic reason why right mouse button select is um, is not useful for Blender is because unlike many other programs, especially 3D animation programs like Autodesk Maya, 3D Studio Max, and other programs like uh, Microsoft Word, uh, some editing video editing programs like Sony Vegas, uh, Premiere, or stuff like that, um, the right mouse bu uh, the right mouse button is not um, that uh, it does not the selection is not the standard because in other words selection is not uh, left mouse button select where unlike many other programs um, left mouse button select is both selection and activation so that's pretty much uh, one of the basic reasons why right mouse button select could be a bad idea but I really think it's a really good idea and let me show you the benefits of actually using right mouse button select in blender and first off, it's uh, using the manipulator. So say, for example, you're working in edit mode, which you will in a lot of cases. And say, and say for example, you want to move this point. To move the point, you just select it with right mouse button. And if I want to move it to the left or right, I just move on one of the ma manipulators. It's very, very easy. Now, this can all be done now. Right mouse button select. Uh, right mouse button selects the point. Left mouse button select. Uh, moves it back and forth. However, what if the left mouse button select uh, does both? In other words, select the point and moves it with the manipulators. Well, if that were the possibility, um, uh, basically what would happen is, say for example, it's set like that and I want to select this point with my left mouse button. Um, however, if I try to do that, there could be a chance um, uh, there could be uh, a chance where I may accidentally select the manipulator and instead not select this point and accidentally move the manipulator. And at that point, uh, in order to select the point, I have to rotate my view around in order just so to select that single point. However, with right mouse button select, if I ever wanted to move this point that's right behind the manipulator, all I have to do is right click, and there you go. And I could just move this point. It's really, really... It's actually pretty nice, and it's very, very useful. So that's one of the things that's very useful uh, with right mouse button select. Um, also, the 3D cursor, um, which could be moved with left mouse button, uh, it's just um, an activation. Uh, may not be that important, but 
it's something a little should actually get get around. Uh, so left mouse button select moves 3D cursor, but not that big of a deal. But anyway, so some more things that's uh, really important using right mouse button for our um, selections. So say for example you are doing um, texturing. So you go into texture paint mode and say for example all you have to do, um, let's change the color to say uh, green here and you want to paint on your um, object. So all we have to do is just of course left click and hey, hang on one sec. So if I want to say paint this object, say for example to change it to green for example, all I have to do is left click and I can basically paint on the object. However, now that's kind of useful. Uh, I'm sorry that you can't see it right now, but uh, yeah. But say for example I want to paint over a certain face, so to do that I just go into face select mode and if I want to paint a certain face all I have to do is right click and if I just uh, do left mouse select, I could just paint over that. And I can also do the same thing with shift select and right mouse button select. I could select multiple faces and just limit the painting to just these faces. Now this can also happen in a uh, weight paint mode. So um, once again, uh, let's just deselect these real quick. So say for example, I want to paint over this. And if say for example, I want to... Um, once again, go into, uh, um, I don't know, face selection for painting. I, once again, select these faces, and I can just paint over those faces. There we go. Don't know why it's working the first time. But if I, so basically, if right mouse selection could be useful, say, for example, I want to paint one certain face, all I have to do is just right-click while in face selection mode, or multiple faces, and I could just paint right over those. So that's another thing that's really, really useful. Now, also, uh, let's just get out of wave paint mode real quick, and let's move on to another Blender scene. So, uh, so say for example, I you're also like uh, modeling a character, and um, you actually, uh, so we have our armature right here. Uh, let's just uh, maneuver this up just a little bit. So. Move it, this up. So, say for example, I want I'm in weight paint mode, but I want to paint on a spot where there's just a certain bone. So, if I want to paint um, only one spot uh, of one certain bone on my character right here, all I have to do is just select the character, go into weight paint mode, and if I want to uh, select um, a face, uh, so, uh, paint one portion of one bone, all I have to do is just uh, select that bone uh, with a uh, right mouse button and of course I can pretty much paint that area so um, that's pretty nice actually and the thing is um, unlike left mouse button uh, basically it doesn't actually get again in the way of accidentally like painting a certain bone or certain spot or painting or accidentally selecting instead of painting so um, and that's pretty much another one of the reasons why uh, right mouse button select is good right here. So uh, actually, so now let's uh, minimize this and let's try something else here. Um, how about, uh, oh yeah, how about the markers on the timeline? So in the timeline right here, I have a couple markers right here. See here, these are markers and they're useful if you want to mark certain points in your scene. Um, how, and if I say, for example, want to um, move these, all I have to do is just uh, hold down my right mouse button, and I can move them. It's very useful. And by the way, if you want and to add markers, I just hit M. And if I want to move them, I hold down right right mouse button, and I can move them. Now, if the left mouse button was able to do both, uh, select the marker. Uh, actually, uh, let me explain. Uh, if I ever want to move uh, the playhead of the um, timeline right here, all I have to do is just left mouse button, and it works like that. Um, however, if I set it to uh, have have it set to um, where left mouse button could uh, um, move the playhead of the timeline and select markers, um, there are two things that can happen. One is that um, I um, it's use, um, if I were to set it like that, there could be a chance where I accidentally 
move uh, the playhead while trying to select a marker or trying to or accidentally moving my playhead um, just to try to select this marker. So it's actually pretty useful when using markers um, uh, for selecting markers in the timeline is right mouse select and uh, for selecting markers and left mouse to actually uh, drag the playhead. So that's another thing that's really useful for right mouse button select. So uh, let's talk about something else. Let's try uh, animation. So we have a simple animation here uh, with the camera and the cube, and this can um, uh, right mouse button select can also be in useful in the uh, graph editor. So you see here we have a whole lot of curves right here, which are basically animations of you know the camera and the cube. But say, for example, I wanted to edit one of those curves, like, say, move them, pretty much. All I have to do is just, um, select one of those points with my right mouse button. That's very useful, because, um, um that's very useful. All I have to do is just right mouse button select, and, um, to select some points, and if I want to move them, I hold down my right mouse button, and I can move them. It's very useful. And... With my and same thing as in the timeline, I have to just left click to move the playhead. Now, if this was um, uh, um, set in the way that I explained, there could be a chance why I accidentally move my uh, playhead or select a point that I don't want while moving the cursor. So it's always a good idea to actually um, have right mouse button for a selection on the uh, graph editor and the and left mouse button to drag the playhead. Um, this also goes the same thing here in the dope sheet editor with uh, we have certain po so we have certain points up here and um, for me to actually uh, for us to actually work with however if I uh, ever want to move these all I have to do if I ever want to select them first I just right mouse select and to move them I hold down my right mouse button. It, it just works just like that and of course I could just drag my playhead with my right mouse left mouse button, sorry, um, so, to move it, and, however, if I were to, and if this was, uh, left mouse button select was to move the cursor and select the points, once again, I could accidentally select the point, or move the cursor, or move the playhead, um, to a point that I may not want, so, um, it's very useful right here, in the dope sheet editor, graph editor, and the timeline, both are very useful, um, let's see here, let's try, uh, um, let's try, uh, working, uh, in an, let's try in the NLA editor. So we have the NLA editor right here, um, which is very useful if you ever want to, uh, edit the animations as if they were, um, video editing strips, like, uh, default nonlinear video editors. Like, say, for example, I want to start my, uh, cubes animation earlier in the timeline, so all I have to do is just click the little snowflake right here, and I can see there's my strip right here. I can also edit the camera animation, and it acts as a video strip too. I could select um, the strips right here with right mouse button, and if I ever want to move them, I just right mouse select just to move them. And if these were and left click to confirm, now if these uh, were set the same way to left mouse button select, there could be a chance where I can accidentally move my uh, 3D. Uh, left mouse button, which um, is very useful, so I can actually move my playhead um, without accidentally selecting this strip, and and all I have to do is just right click to just select a point and hold down my right mouse button to just move it, and also to just move my uh, three uh, my playhead with um, my left mouse button. So it's second, it's pretty much. You're pretty much, as soon as you work with a right mouse button, you'll get pretty much used to it, pretty, pretty much. So, yeah. Now, this go, uh, this works well, uh, well in the NLA, in NLA editor, and this also works in the video sequence editor. So you see right here, I have a little test sequence right here. So, if I ever want, as I'm editing a video and I just want to scrub through the timeline right here and just look at my sequence once again same as the in the nla editor i just left click and drag and and since it right mouse button is for selecting i don't need to worry about accidentally selecting one of those strips because if i just right mouse button select i could just select these strips and same and same as before if i ever want to move these i 
right click select, keep it pressed, and move it, I can actually move it throughout the timeline. So this is re this is another reason that makes it very useful to have right mouse button select and left mouse button to do um, certain actions like moving the timeline right here. Uh, one more. Let's try the motion tracker. So right here, I set up a, a movie clip right here where I added the points right here. Mm. And um, basically uh, what we have are some markers here and some plane tracks. And say, for example, um, uh, once I place down a marker, I can place down a marker. Um, so um, when I'm working with markers, if I just right right mouse select I could select these markers and if I ever want to add a marker I along with control I just the control key I just left click and if I ever want to move these I just uh, right mouse button select of course or hit G or whatever so I could basically move these around so it's very very useful pretty much um, and now if there was um, and now over here I'm trying to remember uh, <clears throat> Now over here on the plane track right here, um, this is made up of certain points right here. All I have to, if I just left click, I can actually move these points around. Um, so yeah, that's pretty useful. And there's also and right now, uh, now this is also useful. Say for example, I have a marker right here, and I really don't want to get into the accident of accidentally selecting that marker while moving these around. So this is really useful. And same thing if I ever want to move my uh, cursor. Once again, it's right mouse select, and I can just move it around. It's just, it's just very nice. And same thing goes if I was in uh, masking mode. And once again, if say for example, I just right mouse it to select one of the points of the mask. I just right mouse button select. If I want to move them, I hold down the right mouse button so I can basically move them. And if I ever want to move the whole mask, um. Hang on. If I ever say like to remove the whole mask, all I have to do is just uh, hang on. All I have to do is just left. Uh, well, it moves this around, but yeah, it's. I mean, it's very very useful. I mean, right mouse button select is very very useful. Um, now the only thing uh, that uh, selections and act uh, selections could be both used is in the uh, compositor right here. So we have um, our, uh, our, our basically our nodes right here in the uh, compositor right here. And I'll add a viewer node real quick. And if I ever want to select these nodes, I, of course, can either do that with left mouse button or right mouse button. Either way, it works. Now, um, but uh, you could do this either way, but that's the only thing uh, you can do with selections is either left mouse or right mouse. But majority of the time, if you ever want to uh, want to uh, are working in Blender, you are gonna have to use the right mouse button to uh, at um, while editing in Blender. And I think th and I think right mouse button select is very 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 useful. Um, now, if you want to, you can actually change the user prefaces to left mouse button select, um, but I really don't think it's really necessary at this point because I've been working with right mouse button select for a long time in Blender and I'm actually getting used to it. So it's also really useful for using right mouse button select in Blender so that way you can actually compare and contrast. So for example, what do you use for selections and what do you use for actions? So well, using right mouse button select is for selection and left mouse button for actions, you could pretty much working in Blender could be a whole lot easier. Now the only thing uh, that um, is also worth uh, with selecting Blender is the outliner right here where I don't right click select however I left click to select say a cube or lamp or any one of these but I mean I really um, while working in Blender I really really don't usually do this. I do this on some occasions but normally I really really don't usually use this. Whenever I'm selecting, I always use right mouse button select. I mean, right mouse bus, uh, button select has been getting so used to me, and pre it's pretty much second nature. And it's, I'm just getting really used to it. I mean, right mouse button select in Blender is so cool because if this were to change to say uh, left mouse button select for both selections and actions, I don't know what I would do. It's really, 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 really good. I mean, 
Right mouse spun select is really, really amazing. So anyway, that's basically my talk about right mouse button select in Blender. Um, I really hope this video was informative, and I hope to see you guys next time. See ya!